basic analogy. You've ruined it now. <laughs> All right, cool. We're good to go. All right, uh, count down from three. All right, fantastic. You guys ready? Brilliant. All right, three, two, one, go. All right. So uh, right away, this is a stage hopefully some of you guys are familiar with. Yeah. There you go. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty tight there. Oh. No early fee speed. Oh. So uh, P speed in this game is uh, the running meter that you can see at the bottom of the screen. Super Mario Brothers 3 helpfully has this P speed indicator there. P speed is a huge part of running this game, and uh, it can be pretty tricky to try and get it. But if you get it early, you know you can really uh, take a good advantage. Ah! Svenna lost the shell. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Thank God. It's all right, you're still ahead. So then here is the site of the first warp. You'll drop through, go behind the map, and run off to a giant box and toad. So this is the first flute. They're going to go ahead and get a second flute and then use them one after the other, which you will see shortly. But uh, getting early P-Speed is a huge part of running this game. There are some very clever and tricky tactics to try and get P-Speed in places you wouldn't Oops. normally get it. Aww. You can tell when it's P-Speed by the fact that Mario has his arms out. And here we go. Raccoon, suit, fly away. And lo and behold, second loop. So then uh, uh, both Sven and Frezzy will use this flute right away fly to the warp zone, and then warp in the warp zone. So if one warp wasn't enough, warps you straight to world eight. I never understood why anyone would want to warp to like zone three or something, right? I don't know why you'd warp anywhere except the last stage. But hey, that's a different thing entirely. So now the uh, auto scrollers begin straight to world eight. Uh, one very famous thing Super Mario Brothers 3 has contributed to speedrunning was uh, the, uh, I want to say Morimoto task, but it could just as easily be Moshimoto. I'm pretty sure it's Morimoto. There's a famous task that was released on the internet quite a long time ago, which uh, was a task through Super Mario Brothers 3, and it was very impressive, and it got a lot of people into speedrunning at that point. That was quite a while ago. I can't remember exactly, so. Mario Brothers 3 has a lot of history in the speedrun community, as you may have guessed, as a very popular game. It's been very precisely uh, run, very heavily explored as a game, and uh, that continues to this day with uh, active runners at the moment, such as um, Karua and Mitch. Karua being the French guy we mentioned earlier, Mitch being Canadian dude, both incredibly good at this game, although if you ask them, they'll both say they're terrible. And uh, there are plenty of other runners learning the game who, uh, you know, joining in, racing the game online. A lot of speedrunning is uh, based in racing now, so you can uh, race friends, so you don't have to be the best in the world to do it. And for example, if you're not sure what a race is, then maybe look up at the screen and you know watch the race that's happening right now. So there's not a whole lot you can do on these auto-scroller stages, so just bouncing around and uh, landing on bombs and so on is uh, pretty much the full extent of it. That's the uh, ah! first boss dead for Svenna. <laughs> and a good spot oh. on all that chest. You can see how Frezzy picked up that chest quicker than, uh, <laughs> quicker than Svenna, which allowed him to catch up a few more seconds. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We actually mic'd Svenna up just so you could hear his noises. It's the only reason. <laughs> Got some mashing here. 
former Contra player, or still Contra player, this does it to you. Mm -hmm. For any of you wondering how fast good mashing is, about 13 um, button presses per second is good. There are some people who can do a bit faster. The average uh, is probably about 10. So that's pretty quick. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there you go. So you can see here that because uh, Frezzy has the uh, star, uh, fire power, he was able to kill, uh, I don't know which Cooper that is, I'm sorry, but he was able to kill it quicker than uh, Spinner. With the uh, fire flower, you can hit the um, enemy. Oh! oh, hand. So if uh, Frezzy can, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that's uh, the hand bridge there. Svenna unfortunately got grabbed. That will lose him about 20 seconds. Frezzy snuck through. So uh, Frezzy now ahead with the advantage. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> the hand strikes back, Svenna. Uh, I'm going to try it. OK. I'm going to try it, whatever. Fuck no. you. <laughs> So one of the most uh, horrifying things that can happen is when the uh, RNG, or the randomness in a game, messes you over like that. It's something, unfortunately, pretty much every speedrunner has to deal with. A lot of games have randomness. Uh, Mario Brothers only really has that as, Mario, as randomness, at least in any percent. OK, it's just going across the bridge. But as you can see with this Cooper, as I was uh, explaining, you can hit the uh, fireballs at it um, so it does not uh, receive invincibility. Normally in games, as you may have noticed, when you hit an enemy, you usually can't hurt it for a few frames afterwards or a half a second or whatever. The fireball does not really activate that on these enemies, so you can kill them much faster. This also works in Mario World, if you are interested. Whoa. Some yeah. sliding here from Frezzy. Nice. There you go. So Svenna now has to do this whole thing as small Mario, which is uh, not as easy, just purely because you have one less uh, chance to mess up. So you can see the sort of precision jumping you require to run this game. Stuff like that. Oh, unlucky. But these sorts of jumps are very tricky to pull off. So he's going to use the star he's gained and just run. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh. There will be a wall clip coming up, but I really can't remember where it is. <laughs> so you go, another example there of double hitting the boss. Frezzy pulling ahead. Quite nicely. But you can see with Spinner's side how difficult this Stolda stuff is to play without the Fire Flower. So you can see you may as well be off the top of the screen. Why not? You're not doing anything anyway. Oh. Some games are, are coded so poorly that by having your character off the screen, they actually run faster and don't lag. Fortunately, Mario Brothers 3 is not, not such a game. 
And for those wondering who can't quite see, these uh, guys are playing on original NES hardware. This isn't Virtual Console or anything. This is the uh, NES third model, I believe it is, the top loader. But it's uh, all real cartridges and hardware and so on. All right, Frezzy on the castle now. So there will be a zip in this stage, I believe. In fact, right here. Like so. We have Bowser that you can kill with fireballs. Oh, that's very unfortunate. So this is the uh, normal way you're meant to kill Bowser. Just sitting around. He should be fine, though. Oh, he's just showing off now. <laughs> For any of you uh, melee players, this is why you don't spam down B. Whoa! Come on! Hurry up, fuck! <laughs> come on, come on, come on. All right. Die, you asshole. Jump. No. All right. So spend it with a chance. Both in the castle now. Uh, if my memory serves correctly, correctly, neither of them will get firepower. No. Nope. Yeah, there's one mushroom, as far as I know. Whoa, oh. Too close for comfort. All right. Alright, both of Bowser. Or is he playing much safer this time round? There we go. It's time for Frezzy. All right, nice. Spend it on the last one. There we go. Oh, you peach, you tease. Is it peach here or is it Daisy still? Peach. Oh, it's peach. Okay, yeah. that's all right then. Oh. All right, yeah. Yeah, so that was it. Um, yeah, I don't, it was a strange run, I think, from both sides, right? Yeah, until the hands fuck. Yeah, uh, very lucky with that. Um, for me personally, it was a lot of small mistakes in the first world, and yeah, the big mistake in the end, of course, that was, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. I really screwed up there. That sort of thing happens. Um, these uh, games are pretty tricky to get everything all in the right order. I will say uh, a 13 minute time, Frezzy was about 13.04, incredibly respectable. I'd say better than I could do, but that's not really any sort of like sign of quality if I could do it or not. So even if you play everything perfectly, 
you might end up close to 12 minutes. So 30 minutes um, if you get caught by all the hands. So 30, 40 minutes, it's uh, yeah decent, I think, for us. <laughs> Hello, baby. So yeah. Just think if Spenner hadn't oh. been grabbed by those hands in that stage, he could have won. So uh, ain't life a bitch. All right, next up we got a uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, which uh, some of you Swedes might know as Piff and Puff, which as a